we harvested till a couple days before Christmas, and now we haven't. The the field field that we have left is just going to have to wait till the snow melts down. Forty percent of corn growers' crops still fit, sits in the field, and now farmers are looking to change the way they grow to make sure it doesn't happen again. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie explains what farmers are doing and how this could impact the grocery store. The last time we left corn in the, in the field past December 1st was 2009. In his lifetime of farming, Kevin Scune says the last harvest might have been the worst. We didn't ever want to do it again, but we got cocked again this year with a couple hundred acres left. There's still 40% of corn standing across the state. Most years, that number is next to zero. If there's still corn in the field, already on saturated soils and a lot of snow, it's going to be a very, very late spring, and uh, it's going to be very hard to get our crops planted this spring also. That's why corn growers like Schoonez are looking at planting earlier maturing crops. Farmers would be able to take their crop out of the ground much sooner. The only problem, these kinds of seeds don't produce as much per bushel. If you take, you know, 10 to 15 to 20 cents off that, farmers are losing a lot of money. Growing this kind of corn might be a gamble for farmers. The good news is it won't affect your trips to the grocery store just yet. It really shouldn't because the price of corn is way down right now. So, you know, the, the people who are feeding the corn to their animals are, are paying less. Schoonays hopes to start planting by the end of April. He and several other farmers across the country could be looking at planting earlier maturing crops in hopes they don't see a year like 2019 ever again in Arthur. Courtney Lockie. Valley News Live. The harvest heartache isn't over. Schoonest tells us some people were in the fields today trying to get crops out of the ground.